so um So yesterday I actually decided to spend some time at home, which is very rare for me. Usually I'm very active. Um, and when I do spend time at home, I do meaningful things, purposeful things. My focus is always on things that are significant and meaningful. I know or I've studied quite a bit of spirituality and psychology in my life to heal, to feel better. So I know If I want to feel fulfilled in life and I want to enjoy my life, there's certain requirements or things that need to be done or focused on. We'll use the word focused on. And um, so the Sammy Marie Grimm girl that I made a video about yesterday, number 77, it was me apologizing and making up for the harsh comments I said <clears throat> about a month ago about the BPD people or girls, women, that um, show up their body to get YouTube views no matter power, why they show off their body all the time, it doesn't really make sense to me. Well, it's a gimmick, I guess you could say. And, um, so I watched the video she made three days ago, and she was vulnerable in the video, and it was, it was just her. You know, there's nobody else in the video, and she was just talking about her true feelings and what she was going through. And I really liked what she was saying. It was a lot like what I'm doing right now, which is true and meaningful. And I believe that these, that's what these videos should be all about. They shouldn't be a reality TV show. Or they shouldn't be wrapped up in significance. And uh, so I was like, that's really great that she made that video. So I'm going to film a video, number 77, talking about how she was doing good things for our community and how she was very focused on the right things, proper ways to heal, being vulnerable, those type of things. And then after I filmed number 77, uh, I had about an hour before I had to leave the house to go shopping and go other places. So I was like, well, let me watch the video she made six days ago. And it was titled, My Life in you know, BPD, whatever it was. And it was about 20 minutes long. And I only got 10 minutes through it. And I shut it off. And I shut it off because I realized that I didn't want to see the things that they were talking about anymore. And I didn't want to see the suffering that her boyfriend was going through. I think when you've suffered a lot in your life, you understand what suffering looks like. And you feel when people are suffering. Even if it's through images. Or 
on a TV or a YouTube video. You pick up on signs when people are suffering. You just do. You know. I think everyone in the human race knows when they see somebody suffering. And if you can't, that means, I don't know, I think most people can. And um, I just saw that they were suffering, both of them. Sammy was suffering and Brian was suffering. And I don't know how to remove Brian's suffering. I wish I could actually talk to him and be there for him as a borderline personality disorder male discussing things with him because he's dating somebody that's borderline personality disorder and um, I would like to speak with him. Um, usually suffering comes when people are focused on the wrong things. And I feel that she's focusing on the wrong things. So I don't think I'm going to watch any more of her videos. Um, so number 77, I'm glad that I apologized, but I'm no longer going to um, watch her videos because I believe that she's focused on the wrong things. And... Um, which lead to suffering and more suffering. And um, they're just not proper ways to heal. And some of the things she does are good for her. But in the overall scheme of things, her suffering is going to continue. And so is Brian's. It was bothering me quite a bit this morning. I was cooking. Usually when I cook, I don't think about things. And this morning when I was cooking, all I could think about was Brian and what he was going through. Because uh, I've been in relationships before when I was suffering. And uh, I think we all have been there. <clears throat> Whether you choose to follow her or not, she's pretty popular. You can, if you'd like to do so. <clears throat> but I just, I, I can't be a part of that. I can't watch things that not only cause me to suffer by watching but seeing people suffering it's a lose-lose situation it's interesting you know we live in a society right now where people are really into reality TV shows And they like to see other people suffering and they like to see drama and interesting things unfold, but I'm just not one of those people. I don't watch television. I don't watch reality TV. I don't watch anything. Except anime. <laughs> or the things my niece wants me to watch. Or um, YouTube videos, you know, that are helpful. Uh, like psychology based, spiritual based uh, YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's extremely important to figure out what to focus on to help you heal and what not to focus on. And if you don't know what to focus on, in my book, uh, there's a list of people 
uh, I think it's one of the last chapters in the book, like chapter 28 or something like that. And I list eight or nine people to follow that will help you uh, focus on the right things. You know, from Brene Brown to Eckhart Tolle to Dr. Alexa Altman. These people really pinpoint ways to lead a fulfilling life and uh, find some purpose in life. Meaningful things, passionate things. Because life isn't to be happy. Life is to be meaningful and find a purpose and true meaning in your life where you wake up every day and you, and you just you you have a you you have something you know you have something to focus on like for me I film these videos I cook I film these videos then I go for a morning walk and I watch the sunrise and I see the sun glistening on the the dew of grass which is absolutely beautiful and the trees and I look at birds it's such a beautiful life if you focus on the right things it really is and it's a very unhealthy life if you focus on the wrong things even watching images that are unhealthy for you. They stick in the mind. You know what's really cool about these videos? <laughs> I'm always a different person. It's quite interesting. Like even before I started filming this video, I was so zen and present before I set the camera up I said to myself this is definitely going to be a present moment zen speech <laughs> it's not going to be one of those cursing videos or me saying like 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 or me being manic always a different person from day to day. Well, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I didn't mean to promote my book like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I don't know. You know, it, it doesn't really matter if you buy my book. You know, whatever is is making you feel okay every day. I'm not a big fan of people pushing things on me. I'm sure you're not a big fan of people pushing things on you. It's an act of pirating or wanting and desire and those things are all dangerous things. And they definitely lead to suffering. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. And Brian, if you're listening to this video, I should probably mention your name in it or like put you in the title so you could reach out to me so we could talk. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man, you need it. It's so awful when you're suffering and you don't know what to do. Especially when you've been in a relationship with somebody for four years, five years. And you just don't know how to break up. You don't know how to make it better. You're living together. You're paying rent together. You love their mother and father. They love your mother and father. You're like families. God. If you break up... What are you going to do? Do you have enough money to get your own place? Who's going to take the couch? God, man. 
I've been there before, man. It's so hard. It's so difficult. It's less difficult if you're financially stable, but if you're not financially stable, it's very difficult. Leaving someone or moving on. So you could suffer less or you could grow as a person. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, do something that you love today. Do something that you love today. It's such a calming day. Alright everybody, have a great one. Thank you so much for everything.